In this video, we are going to look at data movement commands. The three commands that we are going to focus on is move literal to W, move WF, and the move F instruction. After completing this video, you should be able to move data between file registers using either of those commands. But before we look at it in Pixum IDE, let's just first go through the basics of the three move commands. The first one is move literal to W, and the K represents a literal value that you want to move into the pick. Uh, you can say that it's something from outside or value from outside the pick that you want to move into the pick to be able to use at the later stage. Uh, a move literal to W command will look like this. Move a literal to W6, and that 6 is a physical value that will now be loaded into the working register. So after this command, the working register will have the value of 6. The next line, move literal to W the hex of 10. So after this command, the working register will have the hexadecimal equivalent value of 10. And over here, uh, move literal to W, this is a, a binary number that we then move into um, the working register. The next command uh, on the list is move WF. The move WF command will take whatever is in the working register and move that into a file register. In order to get that done, you need to nominate which file uh, the data in the working register needs to move to. If we look at the commands, and the first command as, uh, is the command that comes from the previous slide, move literal to W6. After this command has been executed, the value of 6 is moved into the working register. The next command in line is move wf x20. So this command will take the value that is in the working register and move that to the nominated file, which in this case is x20. The last command that we are going to look at is the move f command. Um, and this is a command that will move the data from a file uh, either back into the file itself or into the working register. And you make that selection by changing the value of D. So if the value of D is equal to zero, then it means that the value of the file will be moved into the working register. If the value of D is equal to one, then the movement will move the value of the file back into the file itself. If we look at a few examples, or if we look at these examples, you'll see that we have move F, whatever value was in hex 20 will move to destination zero and that zero represents the working register. So whatever value was in address hex 20 would after this command be in the working register. If you look at the bottom one, um, move F six comma zero. So what, we, what this command does is it takes the value from port A, uh, memory location six represents port A, it takes the value that is currently in port A and move that into the working register and with the next command it takes whatever is in the working register and moves that into location 20x. So these two commands would essentially take the current value of port A and move that into file 20x. After opening Pick Simulator IDE remember to go and select your microcontroller that you're going to use and remember that when you start editing your assembler code that you need to have your comment block which indicates the author the title of the program and the short description of the program also remember to have the following four lines of code the org 0 go to initialize org hex 04 return from interrupt the first command we are going to look at is move literal to w move literal to w will take a value a literal value and will move it into the working register this command will take the value 6 and it will load it into the working register the value 6 is a value that you as a programmer decide on loading into the working register it might be the amount of iterations that the loop might have it might be a physical value that you want to move to the ports can be any value that you want to load into the pick. 
after you've written your program, uh, remember to go to Tools, Assemble and Load. It will show you uh, any errors, if there are any. This shows zero errors, which is good. <clears throat> and it will load the program into the PIC, the simulator. Uh, remember to go to Tools and Breakpoints Manager so that you can step through your code. Yes, we want to load that. Simulation. The simulation rate should be step by step. And we can start the simulation. This uh, yellow arrow there indicates the location of the command that's going to be executed the moment that you step through the program. So go to initialize, we'll go to this line here where we have the move literal to W, so 6 will be moved into the working register. After this command, you will see that the value of the working register will now be 6. So we've taken the value 6 and we moved that into the working register. After stepping through your code, ensuring that it is correct or seeing what you wanted to see, you can just close the breakpoints manager and you can go and edit your program again. Let us add a few more move literal to W's just to ensure that you understand this. Move literal to W, we can load hex values in there by using a prefix of hex. So the hex value of 10 will now be loaded into the working register. We can also move binary values into the working register or any other register for that matter by using the prefix of binary. So 0000110 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 10. Let's see what happens when we execute this program. Assemble and load. We don't have any errors. We go over to tools. We open the breakpoints manager. Yes, please load that. We ensure that our simulation rate is going to be step by step. And we can then start our simulation. By pressing F2, we step through our program. Move literal W6 will load the decimal value of 6 into the working register. After executing that command, you can see that the value of the W register is in 6. Move literal to W10, the hex value 10 will be loaded into the working register. After executing that, you can see that there we have hex value of 10. This move literal to W instruction will load the binary equivalent of the decimal value 10 into the working register. And you can see there that 0A is a hex number, obviously, but um, that is the decimal equivalent of 10. And you can also confirm that with the bits of the working register, that is the same as the binary number that you've put into the working register. After you've stepped through your program, you can just click on the X to close the breakpoints manager and you can be returned to the assembler screen for further editing. The next command is move WF. The move WF command is used to move whatever value is in the working register into a nominated file. If we want to move the value of the working register into file, uh, 20 hex into the general purpose register 20 then the command will look like this whatever is in the working register will be moved into the general purpose register with the address of 20 x before we do that command let's just move something into the working register first in order to move something into the working register we can use the command move literal to w so let us load a decimal value of 10 into the working register. What this program will do is it will take the decimal value of 10, move that into the working register, and after that, take the value that is in the working register, which will be 10, and move that then into file register 20. In order to see what this program does, go to tools, Assemble and load. The program is compiled and loaded into the simulator. Tools. Breakpoint manager. Yes, load the breakpoint manager in. Go to rate. Ensure that it's still step by step. Go to simulation start. And then by pressing F2, you will be able to step through your program. F2. So after this command, move literal to W decimal 10. We expect to see the working register with the decimal value of 10. That's correct, 0a, x is the decimal equivalent, is the hexadecimal equivalent of 10. 
move wf will take whatever is in the working register and move that into file location 20. File location 20 is right over here. After that command, the value that is in the working register will be copied to address 20. And you can see there that we have copied the value that is in the working register into x20. If you've seen what you wanted to see, you can just close the breakpoints manager and continue editing the assembly screen. The last command that we are going to look at is the move f command. Move f command has the following format move f, f, d, and we essentially move the value of the file either to the working register when d is equal to zero or back into the file when d is equal to one. Let's have a look and see how this works. In order for us to do that, let's just move something into the working register first. Move literal to W, so we just load the value 4 into the working register. Where we move whatever is in the working register into file uh, hex 20 into our general purpose register area. Um, we can then go and clear the working register. So move literal to W, 0, that will clear the working register. And the move f command we want to move whatever is in any register back into the working register we need to do this we're going to select x20 because that's the value or that's the register that we've just moved 4 into and in order for the value of register 20 to be moved back into the working register the destination value need to be 0 so that over there will now move the value that is in hex 20 back into the working register. In order to see how this works, let us go to assemble and load. We don't have any errors. Go to tools, breakpoints manager, yes please. Uh, ensure that our simulation speed is step by step. We start our simulation and then obviously by pressing F2, we can then step through our program. Very first line that's going to be executed is move literal to W. 4, so the literal value of 4 will be loaded into the working register. Yes, there it is. The next line says move whatever is in the working register into file location 20. So this file location over there. Yes, it's there. The next line says move 0 into the working register, which will essentially clear the working register. Yes, it's cleared. Now we get to the move F command. So whatever value is in register hex 20 will be moved back into the working register because the destination bit is a zero. So after we execute this command, we expect to see the value 4 back in the working register. You can see there that is the case. We've now moved whatever value is in location 20 back into the working register. After you've simulated your program, you can just Close the breakpoint manager and go back to your assembly screen for further editing. In this video, we've looked at the move literal to W command, move WF command, as well as the move F command. These three commands are used to move data in the PIC. Being able to move data around is at the heart of any program you write. Therefore, it is extremely important that you master these three commands.